Hello everyone, welcome back to Scott's Honest Reviews. So for today's video, we are reviewing the Next Link NL-102 Heavy Duty OBD and EOBD and also CAN Diagnostic Tool. All standard heavy duty protocols, all t cars, 10 modes of OBD2, unique battery power monitor, huge trouble codes, help and repair tips, graphic display. So let's get unboxing show you guys what all you get so right away we see they provide you with a really nice carrying case it's actually i believe the first ob reader that i've reviewed that actually comes in a carrying case so that's definitely a plus so over here we can see so they did it a lot slimmer than a lot of other models. It's a little longer than some of the other models, but it's slimmer. And slimmer is always a good thing when it comes to these readers. So you have standard buttons, features, but also some extra features. You have a nice display right here. So we go ahead and we can look inside. And as you can see, you have multiple different plugs and ports for different vehicle types. And we can also open up here, see we have a manual as well as a cable to plug in here. Now I believe that is for updates and other things related to that, using it with your computer and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and put that back in Let's start testing this out and see all the features. All right, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, is locate your port. It's gonna be probably down somewhere at your driver legs. And then you're gonna plug your device into the port. Make sure you put your key in the ignition. Turn it to the on position, but you don't have to start your vehicle. All right, so right away, we can see that this actually says a lot more than most OB readers. So this actually says our battery voltage, and it says our battery's in good condition, so let's press OK. Now we get to see that you can use it for heavy-duty trucks and regular. So let's go ahead and scan it. Now this can be used for people with codes and people who do not have codes because this can tell you a lot of different things. So press OK. You can read your codes, erase your codes, IM readiness, live data, freeze frame, O2 center test, onboard monitoring, EVAP system mode, and vehicle information. We can go back by pressing this button. Over here, you can go to HDOB. Now this would be for using with a large truck. So as we go ahead and go through stuff, I doubt it's going to say anything since we don't have it plugged into a tractor trailer. So we're just going to go and let it do its thing, but probably all you got to do is unplug if you accidentally hit this. So now we're going to go back, press OK. Now if you press, let's see, let's go over to DTC lookup. So this allows you to look up different codes. You can go under setup, you can do language, unit, beep, and tool information. We're going to go back here and check out some other features on the system. So we go under read codes, we can go and check, and it will read any codes that we have. But since we don't have any, we don't have to deal with that. Pending, you go under pending, it will show you codes that are pending, that may be coming up. And then you got permanent codes. You can erase your code. You can do IM readiness and all these other stuff as we mentioned before. If you do onboard monitoring, you want to go ahead, turn your vehicle to the on and start your vehicle. So now we can do onboard monitoring. So now then our vehicle's on, we're gonna test. So as we can see, 
it passed. We're gonna go down to the next one. Pass, this one, pass. All right, we're gonna go back now. O2 sensor test. So it doesn't, this vehicle doesn't support the test. We can do EVAP system mode. So this doesn't support it. We can check out our vehicle information. Let's go back over here. Let's do IM readiness. Since DTs were cleared, let's just do this one. All right, so now it's gonna show us all of our systems and if everything's okay or not available or fail. So now we know all this stuff is okay. And we know that we should pass inspection with no problems. So we go back, go back. We can do live data. Since our vehicle is on, we can go view all data. So now it will give us live data So just different things. You can see just a whole bunch of different stuff. Let's actually go back under. Uh, just. So yeah, this actually works really great. Um, I'm very happy with it. I think you will be too.